uh, I could put in our e email address if I wanted to and just go admin at expressionweb.us oh, there we go and then we're good to go so we're gonna go save and believe it or not we're basically done we have one last thing to do and that's uh, we go back into the comments section and where it says form method post and under action we put our cursor between the two um, quotation marks the double quotation marks and all we have to do is type in send PHP so it knows that whatever data it collects here is going to send over to this page and then um, that page will then that code will then go into play so we go save and that's it okay so at this point we're basically done with building the website uh, let's go and uh, take a look around here if I'm on the default page and I hit uh, F12 what happens when I do that when you hit F12 and you're you're running expression web from your computer at home it basically pulls up a server development server that's built into expression web that server does not run PHP on it so what happens if you go to try to so the the site works everything works on the site all the pages work and the comment page works I can input the forms you know this the form whatever and I can even answer the question 12 but when I go submit hit submit it just pulls up the send PHP page it doesn't it can't run it because uh, the development server doesn't have uh, on it's on my computer at home doesn't have the PHP loaded onto it so this PHP script right here will only run on a server or hosting account that that has PHP on it so that's the one of the key things about it so uh, I did create uh, if you go to um, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash form dot expression web a working version of this so this is all loaded up on the GoDaddy server so what will happen is if you come to comments now let's say this is a comment does this thing work if I hit submit let's see what happens let's see did you answer the math question your comment was not sent so I web browse back and I'll put in my 12 I hit submit and it says thanks for the submission so uh, so the site we built appears to work just fine uh, but it's all running on the GoDaddy server which runs PHP so when that script is activated on the server the PHP then acts on it that was sent to our email that I just did so I did this as a test and it and it sent it to my um, email uh, but from the user side it just looks like a form and um, that's basically it I I would like to say one other thing is that um, if you come over here there is a book that um, is called PHP and MySQL and if you're going to be getting into web design and development and you want to add databases or link to databases I would highly recommend this book I really like the way these books are written and actually the very first chapter of this um, book head first PHP and MySQL goes into how to create a form just like we did except it even goes into a lot more detail so uh, if you're going to be doing this I highly recommend this book it will really help you and uh, and I sure hope that um, this tutorial helped uh, at least with getting an idea of how to set up a basic web form and how to send it using PHP you know I know there's a lot of different ways that's one good and bad thing about probably website design is it there's many ways you can do the same thing this is just one way um, to do something so I hope this helped and uh, I really appreciate um, all you for subscribing and all the positive comments we've gotten so thanks a lot and have a great day.